Good morning. Hello, hello. Good morning. Good morning. Almost afternoon for some of you. Let's get our bodies moving. Hello, friends. Good morning. It's morning for me. I soak in some of the sunshine a little bit. Check a couple of things, minimize all these little windows before we get going. Gather up your stuff. I hope that you can hear me okay. We should have the headsets in. The things should be good. Get your block. Grab your water. So, I should probably demo that with socks. That works so good. I love the stretchy sock thing. It gives you way more flexibility. All righty. I am going to start this morning um, on the couch. Um, all of these seated poses can be done, you know, if you're going to be on the mat with me later, you can start on the mat or you can bring in a chair or sit in your couch. Um, just going to start in the couch because we have a good group of people that are working into full body yoga. So let's honor that and honor wherever you are in your journey. So I don't think I need little mouthy anymore. I'm going to leave that little fellow over there, but we'll keep him close. Okay. Finding your spot, grabbing your prop, right? I think I'm going to demo more this time um, with more of the blocks and drink some water. Always good to keep hydrated. So you'll notice my block. Can you even see? Uh, my block and my water, like literally same size, right? So um, just grab your water bottle. And um, oh, let's get started. So I just want to honor those of you that came and um, the video just popped out. I apologize. I did not, just super busy, didn't have time to come back and do another session. So hopefully um, <laughs> we'll have good tech issues today or no tech issues and everything will stream and will be wonderful. So that is my hope today. I'm just going to go ahead and get on in and just trust that everything is going to work. So coming into our space. I guess I just needed to let that go, huh? Take a deep breath. Get in a couple of neck rolls here, and we'll do some shoulder rolls next, and just open ourselves up. Finding our place, finding our space, finding our breath. Taking a couple of inhales and exhales, just settling in, finding the rhythm. We'll continue to breathe through all of our yoga poses, our asana, as we get through our session today. So as you're breathing and settling into your sit bones, remember those, we just rotate our hips back and forth a little bit, you'll find them. It's not all the way on your bottom. It's not leaning forward. It's just a nice neutral space. So find your sits bones. That's where we want to start. That's our good centered position. 
Let's bring in an intention. Something that you want to bring into the rest of your week, this upcoming week, or maybe you've had just a lot going on and you need to leave something in this last week. So you decide which way you're going, picking something up or putting something down. And we'll go ahead and start with our sun breath. Actually, let's do some arms first. Let's open up these arms. Shake out those shoulders. That's the great thing about this. Do whatever we want. It's free flow. <laughs> Let's send those hands straight out in front of us, bringing your palms wide, fingers wide, like you're going, hey, stop. Stretch those arms out. Relax the shoulders down. And as you breathe in, extend and push, finding that grounding, centering in your hips and relax and release give yourself a little shoulder rub roll them back and let's bring them forward or if you went forward roll them back just go the opposite way and then let's send our arms out to the side going straight out reaching the palms out extending opposite directions do a little micro bend here in the arms and then inhale, pushing out again, looking for length. Let's add our fingers and our wrists in here. Bring those fingers in, starting with the pinky one at a time. When we get to the thumb, wrap it around and then tilt your arm down. Pushing out as if you're going to pour a pitcher of water. Really opening up the wrist and the shoulders. It's very open position. We do so much with our hands. And relax and release. Bring those arms all the way back down. Now we'll go into those sun breaths. You can bring the hands up in front of you or out to the side. I'm going to start going out front first. So inhaling, I'm bringing my hands right out in front of me all the way up. And then I'm going to cactus my arms out. So I'm just going to tip them to the side and my arms are going to look like little cactus. And then relax and release. And this time I'm going to go wide. So inhaling, taking my arms out to the side, bringing them up over, rotating those shoulders. I'm going to send my gaze up towards my hands. And on the exhale, bringing my palms together right down to the center. Coming back into that intention and relaxing. And your choice, whatever feels good to you. Let's take another inhale. Really stretch and reach here if that feels good to you. Bring those hands right down to center. This next time we're going to inhale and then we're going to bring in some movement and a half fold. So inhale again. Coming up, reaching out, opening. Hands come straight down to center. Relax the shoulders as you exhale. I'm finding my hands right down to the middle. And then I'm going to stop right here at my knees. I'm just going to bring my elbows down and then drop my head, lean myself slightly forward and look for some extension in my back, my straight spine. And then just exhale. I'm going to relax and release. I'm not going down any further yet. <laughs> and inhale. Let's just find our way back to that center. Let's add in a little cat cow. That's going to look like the inhale. We're going to reach and extend our neck and our breath. Looking up. Gaze comes up. Open chest. Exhale, I'm going to release all of that air, rolling the shoulders, dropping the chin down to my chest. And inhale, opening up, coming back into that cow position. And exhale, rolling that back. I might add a little figure eight. My body wants a little bit more movement this morning. So as I inhale, Really reaching and opening, exhaling, dropping in and releasing. 
find our way back to the center. Let's add some side stretch in here. So plant the right hand, bring that left hand straight up, inhale. On the exhale, drop the shoulder and send your way on over, leaning towards the right, just opening up the left side of our ribcage, extending our breath capacity. And relax, find your way back to center, drop that left arm. Maybe you add a little shoulder rub. Plant the left, reach that right up, straight up, inhale. And exhale, slowly send your way over to the left. Drop that left shoulder away from the ear. I tend to scrunch, you might too. And relax and release. Nice open chest now. Let's go into our twist. Bring that right arm behind you. I'm going to scooch back a little bit so I can reach the back end of myself here. Bringing the left side over to my right knee. And then inhaling straight back. And exhale. Allow that breath to be the turn and your twist. You might find your gaze going behind, looking behind your right shoulder. And gently relax, untwist yourself, shake it out, and work it on over to the other side, sending that left arm back, or it can be at your hip, down at the side, wherever is good for you. Right hand comes over to the left knee. Inhale, opening up the chest. Exhaling into that twist. And relax and release. Finding our way back into center. Let's add some figure eight. Really work that. Okay, I'm actually going to get a chair. I feel like you cannot see me at all. So, pardon me while I grab a little chair. Dust off on my little flower. <laughs> and I'm just going to pop that right down here. That way you can see what we're doing here. All right. I feel like that's a little bit better. Okay. I actually prefer a chair that doesn't have sides, but I can work with this. I'll get right to the edge of it. So let's do a couple more of the sun breaths, and then we're going to add in some forward folds here. We're nice and open on the front. Inhale, arms come up or forward, wherever you're at. Look up, extend that gaze. Exhale, bring those hands right down to heart center. We're going to find our midline here. And then we're going to work our way down. I'm going to put my hands on my thighs. And exhale. I'm just going to stop right here. We're right at that midway. Inhaling. I'm doing that halfway lift. So extending here, looking for length. And then exhale, just kind of relaxing my neck and my shoulders. And then inhale, slowly come back. Let's do that again. So inhale, arms come up, gaze comes up. Bring those hands right down to heart center. You can add on and extend. You can stop in the middle wherever you want to go. Come on down to the thighs. I'm using my shins and my knees as a guide. As I exhale, I'm able to just fold into myself and relax and release. Whatever that looks like in your body. I need to go a little bit wider today. So open those legs, whatever feels comfortable for you. And on the inhale, find your way into a halfway lift. You might find some extension here. Maybe your hands come to your shins. Looking for that extension again here. And exhale, relax and release. Drop it all. Let it all go. Inhaling, finding our way back into center. Let's add a couple more of those cat cows. Inhaling, opening up, looking up. Exhale. Round and release. Shake it out if that feels good. 
Inhale, nice open chest. Exhale, drop the chin down to the chest. Relax and release all that breath. Finding our way back to center, let's do some more of those sun salutations. We're bringing in those forward folds. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, bring them right down through to the center. Should be nice and warmed up now. Come on down into that forward fold. Here's where you add that block, water bottle, whatever you got. Relax and release. Inhale, coming up to that halfway lift. Exhale, relax and release. Inhale on up. I'm rolling my back. That's what my body wants today. Grinding that centering. Let's bring in some legs. First, let's just roll those ankles out. Find your stability. Make sure you're nice and stable in your seat. So go into a staff pose, straightening both of those legs. You might have your toes pointed up in a flex. They might be pointed down. Either way, whatever feels good for you. Maybe you're flexing them. Flex and point. Flex and point. Let's get some movement in those ankles. And then we're going to add the knees. So I'm going for my right knee first. And just lifting it up. Where's my stuff? I want my props. <laughs> I brought them all out here. <laughs> so this is a great time for that belt. So take that and wrap it around your knee and inhale, bring it up. That feels good. Maybe you're holding on to the knee and you do a little rotation. I spend a lot of time in the hips. It's just as a woman, I carry so much stress in my hips. So um, I'm very aware of that. And um, you may notice that I do a lot of hip action because I want to get that out. So I'm going to add a little kick here, have some fun with my legs. They do so much work for me. Coming over to the left on the edge of the seat, I'm going to send that um, my little belt over, and that just allows me to pull up without having to pull my back into it. I can use my arm strength instead of um, straining my back. Just the advantage, so many advantages, and it just extends. So pulling that knee up, opening that hip. Let's add some rotation. I carry my stress equally left or right. <laughs> so roll that hip, open it up. Have some fun with your knee if you want to, if it feels good for you. And let's do some of our warrior poses. You guys know where we're going. Find your way down to the edge. See if I can do this here. I might have to move back to the couch, but we move around. It's a fun day today. I'm going to send, um, let's flip on into um, a low lunge first. So I'm um, sending my right leg over. Here I'm going to be on the edge of my seat. I've got my right knee bent facing the right. I'm going to send my left knee back. I've got, I'm high on my toe here. So whatever feels comfortable, you can come high on your toe. We're just going to open up, just open these hips. If this is challenging for you, grab that block and just put it right underneath your knee. And then you can really get into this position. Use the chair to be the weight bearing. Um, and then you take all that pressure off. So let's just sit here for a minute, opening those hips up. We can go into... Um, an extension here, inhale, just take the arms up, opening up, you'll feel that in different places in your hips again. And if you want to add a twist in here, send the right arm forward. So we're just going to open, open up. So we've got our right knee bent and our right hand is going forward. Just nice open position. here. And then exhale, just relax. Let's find our way back down to center. And then send your way the other direction. So just wiggle your way. Sometimes it's, it might be easier for you to stand up 
find your lunge and then sit yourself down. So you do what's best for you. I'm a wiggler. I just like to wiggle my way around. Um, so you do you. You do what works. I really like this block today. So I'm going to utilize that. Still having my toe high up. Looking at those hips. Just opening those hips up. Inhale, I'm going to send those arms up. Opening my chest. And exhale. I want that extra stretch, so I'm going arms out. Sending that left arm out. And just relaxing into this open position. And let's find our way back on down. So I am going to move on back to the couch. Um, I realize that with these arms, I am not going to be able to do my warrior. So, sending my way back to the couch. I hope that you all can still see me. All right. Just being a little bit more open here on the edge of the seat. So we're going to essentially do the same thing, but this time my left leg is going to be all the way straight. So leaning on over here, like I said, I'm the wiggler. So I'm going to wiggle my way right, and then I'm going to send my left leg all the way back, really stretching it back nice and straight. And bringing the arch of my foot so I've got my big toe down and the arch of my foot is flat on the ground and my right leg is bent along the horizon I'm going to send my arms out into this warrior two position now my gaze is going over my right arm the difference here is where that leg was and where my hips are so I'm just dropped down um, a little bit deeper with both of my feet now on the ground. Going into a peaceful warrior, dropping the left hand down, that left straight leg. I'm going to flip the right palm and then inhale, reaching up and then opening up my right rib, sending my arm up and over my head, back towards the left. And exhaling, just coming into that strong warrior again, finding the breath. And then we'll go into our extension. So drop that right arm down onto the hip, kind of lean in, bend your left arm up and over. So now we're coming up towards the right side. So reaching and opening up the other side. And then exhale, find your way back to center. And we'll just wiggle our way around or stand up. I'm going to wiggle my way back into my couch. And then on over to the other side, just rotating my hips. Now I've got my left knee bent. And I'm going to send that right leg all the way back as far as I can until I get my foot all the way down to the ground. Opening up those hips. So opening up my shoulders, relaxing into this position. Inhale, arms come up. Finding that warrior two position. And let's go into peaceful warrior by dropping the right hand down that right straight leg. Flip the left palm and inhale, come on up and over to the level of your palm. Open up that rib cage, back, really feeling that stretch, and inhale, come back to that warrior two, and then send it down into that extension. Drop the left hand, send the right arm up and over, extending towards the left side, opening and extending the other side of our ribs and our back and our lower back. Come on back. Let's find our way into that neutral position. Oh, give your back and your hips a little shake. Get yourself a little figure eight here. Roll around a little bit. And let's get into some leg love again. Nice and warmed up. Let's find that staff position. So coming down, feet straight in front of you. Really find your 
I'm in neutral position here. And we'll do an inhale wherever your arms want to go forwards in front or out to the side. Mine want to go out wide. Inhaling. Strong core looking up if that's possible for you. Feel good. Bring those hands down to heart center. And then let's find a gentle forward fold and a release. So relax and release. I'm finding a bend in my knees as I let everything go. Releasing and relaxing the shoulders. And I'm going to inhale, using my legs, pushing myself back up. Bring those knees up. Let's bring the right knee up. Roll out that ankle. Maybe you add a little hip rotation. Give some love to the other side. Plant that right foot. Bring the left knee up. Roll it out. Let's do a couple more cat cows. Let's exhale, drop that chin down to the chest. Let go of everything here. Inhale, open up, come wide. Exhale, release. Inhale, open up. Add a little figure eight. Maybe some shoulder rubs. Give yourself some love. And you are good to sit on back. Find a little rest, whatever that looks like for you. Get some water. And we're ready for the mat for those that are continuing on. So if you're staying with me, grab your water, have a drink. If you want to stay in the chair and repeat, we're going to do those same sun salutations and also a warrior sequence. So you can certainly practice again. Do the best you can. Just follow along. I'll try to cue what I can as we're going. So let's get going here. All right. Okay, what do I need? I don't know. I just needed to shake out my back a little bit. <laughs> okay. Finding our way down to our mat. I brought all kinds of flowers with me when I brought that chair in here. I want all these little suckers on my feet. Okay. Coming up, we're just going right into it, right into our sun salutations. So inhale, arms come up. Gaze comes up. Exhale, hinge at the hips. Finding that forward fold. Bring in that block if you want it. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, release. Relax and release. Find that micro bend. Get that stretch. Inhale, arms come all the way up. And do that again. Let's bring our hands to heart center. Come back to that intention. And inhale, extended mountain pose. Exhale, swan dive. Forward fold. Let it all go. Halfway lift. Exhale, release. Let's bring those hands down. We're going straight into it. Go into plank. Stretch it out here if you need to. Exhale down, chaturanga, all the way to the mat. Coming all the way down. Point the toes. We're going into cobra. Point the toes. Lift up. Hands are close. Elbows close. Exhale, release. Come on up into downward dog. 
Find your way up. How are you doing it? Going straight in. Downward dog. So stretch it out. And walk it up. Up to the front of the mat. Halfway lift. Exhale. Relax and release. Inhale. Strong back. Come on up, hands to heart center. Find that intention. We'll do that again. Inhale, extended mountain pose. Maybe you take it back for a little palm tree. <laughs> Exhale, hinge at the hips. Find your way down. Stretch out what you need to. Relax and release. Halfway lift. Exhale, hands down to mat, coming down to plank. Find your strength. Take a breath here. Exhale, slowly come down. Going into sphinx, a little bit higher this time. Point the toes, inhale up. Everything's down, we're up to our elbows. Open up that back. And going into downward dog. Lift up, hinge the hips. Downward dog. Straighten it out. And inhale, walk it up. Halfway lift. Relax and release. Inhale up. Extended mountain pose. Find your way back down. Hinge at the hips. Here we go. <laughs> Work it out. Halfway lift. Send those shoulders back. Looking for length. Exhale, release. Going down. This time we'll go um, whatever you want. Find your way down to the mat. I'm going to go into upward dog. You can do cobra, sphinx, upward dog, whatever you want. So we're doing that gradual possession progression. Upward dog is up. My elbows are straight. Everything's up. Up to my hips this time. And exhale. Downward dog. I'm going to go in um, into a dolphin. This is fun. Drop the elbows and come on down. It's like a downward dog, but we're just a little bit lower. And pushing back. Just a different stretch. I don't know if I've shown you this one yet, you guys. Um, so coming back up to the downward dog. And find your way back to your mat. I'm walking my hands up to my feet this time instead of my feet to my hands. Inhale straight back. Let's find that mountain pose. And we'll go ahead into our warriors. Look out those ankles. Look out those legs. Step right on back. Um, I'm bringing, we're going into warrior left side. So my left leg is bent. Right leg is straight. Warrior two. Arms come up. Strong warrior pose on the gaze over the left arm. Hold it here for a second. Open up those shoulders. We'll go into our peaceful warrior. Drop the right. Flip the left. Inhale. Arm comes up. Opening up that rib cage. Opening up those hips. Exhale. Coming down into a reverse. Find your way into warrior two first. Drop the left. Send the right up and over. Opening up the other side. Let's go into our triangle pose. Again, great time for a block. Straighten that left leg. Grab your block if you want it. I do today. Inhale. Maybe your hand stops here at the hip. Or maybe you open it all the way up. Opening up. Open those shoulders. And to come out of this, let's bend the knee, go back into warrior two. Bend the knee, use the core, warrior two. We'll 
will go into a forward fold, easy transition to go from one side to the other. Flip the leg or flip the ankle. Find your way into a forward fold, ragdoll down. And spend a minute here, catch your breath, and we'll go to the other side. Turning your right foot and ankle out. Inhale up, warrior two, right side. And the minute here, finding your position. And we'll go into that peaceful warrior by dropping our left hand with the palm. Inhale up. And exhale, coming back. Warrior two, sending that gaze over that right arm. Let's come into our extension. Drop the hand. Bring the left arm up and over. Extend into that stretch. And we'll go into our triangle. Straighten that knee. Find your way down. Open up if you want to. Finding our way back into warrior two by bending the knee, swooping in strong core, warrior two. Let's go back into that wide forward fold. Work your way down, find your fold. Let it all go. Now add some other stuff in here. You're ready for the goddess. Bend those knees. Work your way into that squat, it's like a wide-legged squat. It's our goddess position. Let's add some stretch in here. You can send those arms, send the right arm up towards the left. Have a little micro bend here in my leg. Come on down, sending the right arm, or the left arm towards the right side. Inhaling up, reaching and stretching. Coming back to that strong core. Inhale, other side. Reach, exhale, bring it down a couple more times. And just using your breath to do the stretch. Inhaling, reach, exhaling, coming back to that center. All right, give your hips some love. <laughs> Let's find our way up. Roll out those ankles. Let's go into our tree pose. Great time again for that block. So if you want a kickstand, you can always just put your foot on the side. Inhale, bring your leg up. Exhale, open the hip into tree. And then you can just rest your foot right there on that block. Takes off a lot of that pressure of having to um, you feel like you're going to fall. And then you can really focus on the strength on that balancing leg. Inhale, bring those arms up wherever you can. Maybe you're on your hips. Maybe you're cactus. I've got lots of stability because I'm using props today. So really reaching. I'm able to really extend my reach here. And exhale. Bringing that hip forward, knee forward, relaxing the leaf. Coming over to the other side. Planting that foot. Inhale, bring that knee up, and then open, turning it to the side. So it's your tree, wherever you're at. I'm doing the kickstand thing today. But I just need to open up just a little bit more here. And then I can bring those arms up. Really extending and reaching. And exhale, relaxing, bringing that leg on forward. All right, let's make our way down to the mat. We'll do that with another sun salutation. We're not just going to go to the mat. Let's work our body a little bit more. Inhale, arms come up. Extended mountain pose. Send yourself on back if you can. Go into a little palm tree. Really arch that back. And exhale. Hinge at the hips, take your time. 
really let all of that breath out. Let it go. Micro bend those knees. Inhale, straighten yourself out. Go for that length. And exhale, release. Work your way on down. Find your way down to tabletop. Take whatever additional stretch you need here. And drop those knees down. Coming into all fours, our tabletop position. Finding that neutral. Let's do some cat cows. Exhale, drop everything. Relax the chin to the chest. Cat position. Inhale, extend, and look for that length and cow. Exhale, relax and release. Inhale, bring in that extension. Maybe add your figure eight in there a little bit. Let's get a couple of bird dogs in here while we're here. We're going to do that by extending one leg and one arm opposite sides. So I'm going to send my left leg back, my right leg forward. So inhale, reaching my right arm forward, my left leg back, looking for length. Exhale, coming back to center. Inhale, left arm, right leg. Exhale, coming back to center. You can add on and extend on this if you want. You can inhale in. And then on the exhale, bring your elbow to your knee, pulling yourself in tighter, finding that center. Do that a couple more times. Left arm, right leg. Extension if you want to. And go two more times, so one more time each side. Really find that length here. And then last time. Reaching and extending opposite side. All right, let's give it a little figure eight. Work it out. We've got lots of love for that shoulders and those hips. Come on back into a child's pose. Send yourself back. I need to open my knees wide. Coming down. Stretch out those shoulders. Give them some extra love here. We're going to come on up into hero that's up on the knees. I like to take my mat, fold it up. That gives me some extra cushion. I am outside. <laughs> so if you are too, feel free to double up. So coming up into hero, we're just going to find that neutral position again. Adjust my hips. Inhaling, coming up. Stretching and reaching. We're going to go into um, like a half camel. So um, I'm just going to sit back just a little bit, hinge my hips, send my right arm down, and then I'm going to reach up and open up. So I'm stable on one side and open on the other. And then however you can find your way to flip the other side, I can just lean myself back, put my left arm down, and then send my right arm back if that's possible. This is a very open position, very challenging position. So if this is not comfortable for you, you don't have to do it. And relax and release. Let's find our way back into that child's pose, stretching the other side. And then let's get some love for our legs here. Coming up, find our way down. Find that staff position. That's with our legs forward, both of them facing forward. Ground down, where's the sit bones? Relax your shoulders, settle into your breath. Inhale, bring those arms up. And on the exhale, let's find our way into that forward fold. Grab your belt or your strap. I'm sending it beyond my legs here, round my feet, and then pulling myself into that forward fold. And bend your knees, and do whatever feels good for your body right here. Um, I found a great way to get into this was like the swim stroke, you know, can't really reach my toes, but 
If I'm stroking my arms towards it, I'm engaging all of those muscles and getting closer every time. So maybe that's where you're at. And relax and release. Let's bring our, um, keep that left foot straight. Bring your right leg into your left inner thigh. We'll go into half split. Send yourself towards that straight um, left leg. Again, great prop time. Grab that sucker. And then on the next inhale and exhale, kind of work your way towards the bent knee. So let's go kind of crisscross towards the center. Do what feels good for you. Stop where it feels, and then we want to feel it, but not hurt. And you know where that's at in your body. Working your way down towards that bent knee. We can go into a pigeon here. You really have to flip your hip. So I'm going to do that by pointing my toe, rotating my knee down, and then I send my left leg all the way back. And I can come all the way onto this bent right knee. Looking for that length again. Finding my way back into that neutral position, very slowly rotating the hip, giving it lots of love as I swing my feet back together, coming into our bound angle. So just bring those feet together. Open up those hips a little bit more here. Maybe you add in a forward fold. My body loves this. And then opening up to our other side, we're going to send that right leg out, bringing the left leg into the right inner thigh, going towards that straight leg first. Again, add whatever props or extra stuff you've got to help you extend that. It takes a long time to build the flexibility. This is a very vulnerable position. Um, just a lot at play. So be gentle to yourself. Be kind to yourself. Remember, I do this every day. <laughs> so working our way down towards the center. Bending our way towards that bent knee. And then if you want, you can add that pigeon. Rotate the leg, rotate the knee, sending the hip all the way back and the leg. And coming back up to our neutral, being extra gentle with our body here, with our hips right now. Let's add some Lord of the Fishes. We haven't done this for a while. This one's fun. It has a fun name too, right? <laughs> so going back into that staff position, find your neutral position again. We're going to send our right foot up and over our left knee. And then we're just going into a twist. So I've got my left leg straight. My right leg is kind of puzzled over. And then I'm going to go into a twist. So now my left side comes over my right knee. And it's that same twist we did when we were seated. Just now we brought our legs into it. And exhale, relax and release. Just switch sides. Ground on down, bring that left over the right. And then the right arm comes over the left knee and we just find that twist again. And exhaling, let's make our way all the way down to our back. Work your way back all the way down. Be gentle with yourself. Let's bring those knees to our chest, little wind release. Add a little rotation here if that feels good. That always feels good to me. I do a lot of rotation. 
Let's drop the feet flat. Can add in um, to our uh, the mind blank here. Um, anyways, we're gonna. <laughs> I'll just do the instruction. <laughs> Bring the right foot up to the left knee. We're going to just open up right here. You can let gravity do its work by bending your knee down a little bit. I'm sorry, this is our supine pigeon. So you bring that, you know I love this one, right? You bring that um, a belt if you want, send it up over the knee. You can bring yourself in here if that feels good to you. I'm all about the hip openers. Let's relax and release, drop it down. Send the left knee over to left ankle over to the right knee. Open up, sending that knee down towards the ground. And then we'll bring our right leg up if you can, if that feels good. Use your props, your other stuff if you need to, if you want to. Relax and release. Let's go wide, drop those hip legs down, bring the feet together. It's really opening up, allowing your hips to drop. Your shoulders to rest. Coming back to that intention. Go ahead, add in one more little twist here. Bring those knees back together. Little rotation. And send those knees down towards the right side. Or towards the left side. Never side. You go where you're going. I'm going towards the left. You can extend this by putting your arms out like a T and then look in the opposite direction that your legs have fallen. Inhale, strong core, rotate to the other side. Last little stretch here on that low back. Coming back up, coming back into center. Find that resting position. Go into corpse pose. So extend those feet all the way out. Take up all the space you can. Reach your arms up, 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 stretch. And exhale, relax. Let it all release. Give yourself a minute here in final resting pose while your body catches up. Slow your breath down. Give yourself a little extra acknowledgement for the work that you did, the time that you put in, the time that you took for yourself. You may find your hands, one on your belly, one on your heart. That's where I like to sit. Maybe they're just down at your side, wherever it's comfortable. As you take a minute in final resting pose, Come back to your intention. Remember why you're doing this. To continue breathing, 
Allow yourself some grace. Acknowledge areas that you succeeded, that you did things you weren't sure you could do. Give yourself some credit for trying all the things that were challenging, moving your body in different ways that it's not used to moving. I really honor all of you on your path and your journey. As we continue moving in moderation, our body continues paying us back with continued flexibility. It's a beautiful give and take. <laughs> Pardon the pun. <laughs> I'm just goofy, I'm sorry. Even when I'm trying to be relaxing, crack in the joke, so. Thank you again for spending some time with me. Add a little bit of movement into your body. If your eyes were closed, um, you can start to open them or take a little nap back if you can. <laughs> Make sure you drink some water, please. It's so important to add the water, especially when we've worked so hard. So thank you all. I hope it posts. If you were here with me, pop in, let me know where you're where you're from, what you liked, maybe something that was challenging for you. Let's work on that. Let's start a conversation. I love to know where people are coming in from. I'm in sunny California. So blessed. So I know I'm spoiled. Thank you for being part of my backyard. I didn't do music this time, you guys. It just seems to be causing another problem. So you heard the lovely noise of the local birds and the highway. So <laughs> have a wonderful day. Love to all. Stay blessed. We'll see you next week. <laughs>